The Patch is an island in the heart of Turner's Falls, Massachusetts, and what one of my favorite local photographers, Joe Manning, referred to as a gem of a small town. And I think Joe hit the nail right on the head with that one. I was born up here. Really? 75 years ago. Wow. Well, 76. Next month, I'll be 76. Uh, <laughs> my grandparents bought it in the mid-40s. I was born in their bedroom downstairs in the front room there back in November 22nd, Thanksgiving Day of 45. In fact, JFK was assassinated on my 18th birthday. Holy cow. And anyway, uh, bought the place back from my grandfather and been there now for 51 years back in the same house. Wow. That's awesome. That gentleman's name is Sterl, but he also goes by Smokey and sometimes... He even goes by Elvis, and he said that's due in part to his hair. Well, despite any of that, he is one of the many lifelong residents who live on the patch. Sterl is the kind of guy that if you wanted to know something about the town's history, he could tell you without even having to think about it. He's just one of those people that really, truly cares about the place that he loves and the people that live in it. Joe's work really inspired me not to just pass by this town, only viewing it from behind the windshield of my car, which is what I typically do, but instead to get out, walk around, talk to the locals, and understand this unique little area better. So that's exactly what I did. This is uh, my first time being in the patch, is what they refer to this little section of Turner's Falls as. Um, uh, I think it was dubbed that by one of my favorite local photographers, Joe Manning, who uh, I sadly learned last month that he passed away. Um, one of the few local photographers that really not a super well-known photographer nationally or internationally, but in this area in Western Massachusetts, Joe has done a lot of really incredible work and has really inspired me to get out here and focus on some of these smaller areas, some of these smaller uh, sections of small towns. And uh, that sort of, you know, it sort of encompasses his entire catalog of work. And uh, it's inspired me to look a little bit deeper into some areas that I've, I've kind of glazed over in the past. And uh, I think that's important to, uh, to keep in mind. I tell you, this scene right here just, mm, just speaks to me. Such a classic fall feel. I did find myself attempting to recreate some of the images that Joe photographed. And uh, when I first saw these images, I was just blown away. And uh, I'm shooting with the Mamiya 645, as you probably can already assume. But Joe was going between one of his many 35 millimeter SLRs loaded with Kodak Portra. The thing that really strikes me is how incredible the changes in the environment over a span of 20 years are. Some of the spots were really difficult to find and I have to say, Joe's eye was incredibly keen for finding leading lines and complementary geometric shapes. And uh, for my knockoff renditions, uh, they're sort of devoid of any sort of technical skills. And as much as I wanted to avoid being derivative of Joe's work, I did want to sort of pay homage to what he did there and just be able to show you guys how crazy the differences are from 2002 to 2021. So by no means are these an attempt at being sort of copycat images, but rather an ongoing documentation of the patch. No matter where I go, I always feel most at home when I'm next to a river. Fall is in full effect and uh, 
without getting too into politics and all that sort of stuff, global warming has made it incredibly difficult to accurately determine when the leaves are going to change. And it's been that way for the last five, six years. And uh, right now, I mean, you, as you can see behind me, some of the leaves are yellow, some of the leaves are red, some of them are very green, and some of them are non-existent. So it seems like there's no rhyme or reason as to uh, what leaves are changing and why it's just sort of a, a hodgepodge of colors. So definitely a challenging year to determine good fall colors, that's for sure. It is so peaceful, I absolutely love it. Even though I'm gonna probably break my neck trying to get out of here on the slippery rocks and then the wet leaves on the hill. So hopefully some chill 80s Euro rack will liven up this cold, dead morning, which is kind of fitting because the mood around the town kind of feels like it, uh, it stopped in the 1980s. Or maybe because at the time it was close to Halloween and I was watching a ton of 80s campy horror movies. It's starting to really come down now, but uh, absolutely beautiful idea trying to capture as much as I possibly can. In any case, I came prepared with my raincoat. Very yellow, very bright and uh, trying to capture as many beautiful street scenes as I possibly could. And one of the best parts about the patch is all of the alleyways. They are just full of interesting scenes and as a non-street shooter, I feel like I'm not really totally equipped to handle these spots, but uh, I'm shooting everything mostly with my tripod because I'm shooting Kodak Ektar 100. And uh, because it's so dark, slower speed films don't really work too well when it's dark out. So mostly going out with my tripod, shooting anywhere around f4 to f5.6, even to f8. And uh, shutter speeds were somewhere around 1 8th to about 1 60th of a second. And well, I was already having my, my tripod with me. Why not just keep it out and shoot everything? Sadly, in 2021, Joe Manning had passed away. I never had the fortune of knowing him personally, but reading his work and viewing his uniquely special images gives me a greater understanding of a man who spent his entire adult life capturing the beauty in the ordinary. Joe's work in Western Mass touched the lives of many people in this area. So here's to Joe and the patch and may his legacy live on. I really, really enjoyed my time walking around the patch. And even though every single time that I went, there was really bad weather, uh, I really just sort of added to that sleepy town charm that the patch exemplifies. And until I come back again, I want to thank the patch and the residents of Turner's Falls for allowing me to come out there and being so kind and generous to, uh, to hang out with me. I appreciate you all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.